In this video, I'm going to answer a question I got online from Benjamin Turner about creatine and hair loss. Now, the reason that Benjamin is talking about creatine and hair loss is due to an association between creatine and DHT levels. Now, DHT, or dihydrotestosterone, is a form of testosterone that gives males their male characteristics. It's the main form of the hormone that's responsible for the changes that males undergo through puberty. Now, there is evidence that shows that taking creatine can actually increase levels of DHT without increasing levels of testosterone. It appears that creatine has no influence on total testosterone levels. However, it appears that it influences the conversion of testosterone into DHT. Now, there's a lot of confusion surrounding DHT because it has both good and bad qualities. In fact, one of the studies used rugby players, and an increase in DHT levels in rugby players is actually going to serve them well. It might be one of the ways that creatine actually works, just another way that creatine works to enhance strength and performance. With higher DHT levels, you tend to have higher aggression and higher muscle strength. Now, higher DHT levels also increase sex drive and help with fat loss. The major confusion stems around prostate cancer and the influence that DHT has on the cells of the prostate. Now, at this stage in the game, it's too hard to tell precisely what influence DHT has on the prostate cells and the influence on prostate cancer and even hair loss. There's some debate over the way that DHT is involved and hair loss. So, if you're worried about hair loss and taking creatine, know this, yes, creatine possibly may raise DHT levels. Could that increase hair loss? Possibly. Now, I will say myself, I'm bald by choice. I have a full head of hair. I'm not shaving my head because I have male pattern baldness. I've been taking creatine now since pretty much its release uh, in the supplement industry, and that's been decades. And I can tell you that it hasn't influenced my DHT levels whatsoever, and it's had no negative impact on my hair loss. The choice is yours. Definite benefits from creatine. Using creatine hydrochloride, at least the form I use, has been shown in myself and many other Jim Army members to not influence DHT levels. Uh, whatsoever, or milk pad and bulbs, for that matter. And like I said, a boost in DHT levels may be just one of the many ways that creatine works to improve strength and performance. But if you ask me, I wouldn't worry about hair loss uh, whatsoever. Take your creatine, guys, and reap the benefits. Keep those questions coming, and as always, stay Jim Army Strong.